What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Gem, here to drop some jewels and love. Gemini, we are up, okay? <laughs> Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Mm, 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 mm. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and those cross watches, because we know y'all exist. Keep in mind, guys, this is a general message, so it may not resonate with anyone, but it cannot resonate with everyone. So take what's for you and leave the rest behind. In any event, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button before you leave so you know when the videos drop. If you feel ever so inclined, go ahead and leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on in your situations. I do read them. I comment to most of them or whatever, where it seems fit. But I pick up on that energy and how the next reader might really pertain to you. Okay, so if you're on any of those social media platforms, go ahead and follow me over there. You'll get uh, updates in regards to this channel as well as Micah and Me Energy, which the shop is now live, guys. We're up and running. Yes, congratulations to Empress Jim and Micah. Uh, but you can get our latest jewelry line, as well as our energy healing bath soaks there. Also, on the social media platforms, you get updates in regards to personal readings, which right now, those prices are all lowered for the month of September. If you've been on my videos, then you know why they're lowered, so we're not going to get into that. And you'll also get some channel messages from time to time and updates in regards to this channel on the Twitter page, Okay. So, looking for a personal, the link to the website, all that stuff will be in the description box below. Empress, I have seen her a thousand times. Independent ass bitch right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Gemini, Gemini. So, I see a lot of you guys have freed yourself from situations. There's some reconciliations that have taken place with you freeing yourself from situations here. I see you guys are just free flowing and doing what it is to do in life. But I started off laughing because literally you got somebody lost in your sauce, Gemini. Okay, like somebody is looking at you like, you know, Gemini is a gem for real. Okay, like literally you make people want to leave folks, leave folks alone. Finally, like close out cycles. They ready to just focus on you. Okay, literally, Usher, you make me want them. But what I got for you guys, seriously, was it never rains in Southern California. So, Gemini, you bring somebody so much excitement. Like, yeah, you bring so much reconciliation. You bring so much, so much excitement. It's not even funny anymore. Like, they want to be with you bad. You brighten their days. Like, without you, like, it's just like gloom. They realize that nobody makes them feel like Gemini cells. And they want to be with you. They ready to do it, everything with you and for you. Okay? You are what this person thinks about. You're all they think about. They ready to cut everybody off down to their mama. Like, it's like, hell no. Like, I'm not about to lose Gemini. Like, it never rains. Like... It's sunny days. Gemini lifts me up. Gemini got that good. Inside and out. Damn. You got somebody, Jodeci Fiennan. What is this, Gemini? Gemini. Oh, I just seen an image of the little kid that peeked through the window. Like somebody spying. Somebody spying. Somebody watching. Hmm. They just roll their eyes. They don't like what they see. Oh, well, keep shining, gems. Okay, keep shining. Perfect match, yeah, because the person that you fucking with is the one for you. Soulmate energy. That's my Gemini card. And is that, what is that sliding? Support, yep. And you're being supported by the universe, by the divine, by everyone around you. This is for you, regardless to whatever. So, whatever. This is my deck I'm working on, guys. So, it has um, quite a bit. This is called... But you thought it. it's inspired off of the White Chicks movie. You know, it's those thoughts that we want to say, but we don't say. So this could be your thought. This could be your love interest thought. Or this could be an external force. How they feel about your love life and your situation or your person or whatever. So let's get the thought here for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and a cross watcher. What is the oracle here? 
pure fuckery, straight bullshit, okay? Somebody is thinking this about your relationship. Somebody is upset. Like I said, I had somebody who was stalking, lurking, looking, watching. Somebody think it's bullshit that you got this life going on, that, you know, things are working out for you this way. Somebody is very upset and jealous. Yep, this sucks, okay? It really sucks that um, somebody is bored, they're being bored, they got love on their mind, they could have you on their mind, this could be another person who's watching you move on and they don't like watching you moving on and they could be really thinking about you and think that this is straight BS. Um, maybe it's this love interest that you have and somebody thinks that it's straight BS or it's pure fuckery that they're not fucking with them and they think that it sucks because they could want your person. They could really be thinking about and wanting your person like a lot. All right. So Gemini, let's get your affirmation for the month. You have open heart heartedness. I know that life and the people living in it can be absolutely bummer sometimes, but I promise not to let unhappy chapters make me jaded. If I let negative experiences turn me sour, then the jerks win. So I move on with an open and hopeful heart, if only because I hate losing to jerks. So that's what I'm saying. Like right now, it never rains in Southern California. You happy as fuck. You're not letting nobody stop your shine right now. Like I said, there's somebody who's watching you and who don't like what you got. I'm feeling like the evil eye being thrown at your ass. Like somebody is like... I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hope you fail. I want you to die, bitch. I hate you. Like, I wish you drop off the face of the earth. Like, this is how somebody is legit, like, looking and feeling and watching in your situation. But for you, it's just like, you know what, whatever. Like, it is what it is. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys have gone through, like, tower moments. Because, like I said, I've seen the tower kind of, you know, trying to put, like, a little image thing on me. But, like, a lot of you guys done went through some shit, but you're not letting those down times get you down. Like, you still staying positive and you're moving forward. And whoever this outside person or this energy is, this negativity, these unhappy chapters, these tower moments, the things that were supposed to bring you down, somebody is like, this is straight bullshit. Like, Gemini is supposed to be down on the ground, fucking crying, losing her mind and everything. And it's like, no, you pulled yourself up and you kept it fucking moving. Why? Because you know that it was not going to de define you. And not for nothing. Yes, it says chapter two here, but ain't that us? That's the Gemini sign, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So you not paying attention to nobody's shit. Like, you know that they're pure fuckery. You know that that person is pure fuckery and straight bullshit. And you're not worried about that. You're not entertaining that shit because, you know, you got other things on your mind. You got other things that you're working on. Your wants and your fucking needs. That's what I'm talking about, James. I take stock of my relationships and I'm honest about what I want and need from the people in my life. I know the difference between the two. Wants are negotiable. Needs are not. Both may be desired and either may be acquired, but that's getting to Venn diagram territory and no one wants to draw one of those, though some of us might need to. So yeah, you know exactly what you need and what you want in your life. You know what matters and what doesn't. Those who mind matter and those, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. And that's where you are right now in your life, Gemini. It's like, fuck you. If you don't like what I'm doing, I really don't care. I know what I need in my life. What I need is not negotiable, bruh. Like, there are some things that I may want that may or may not work out for me, and that's all good, but I know I'm going to take care of my needs and get what I, what I deserve. And somebody does not like the fact that you're capable of doing this. So let's get into your cards. So this is the mutual energy of the relationship or, you know, between you and this person. This is how you feel. This is how they feel. And this is the challenge between you guys. This is your advice. This is their advice, and here's the outcome. Because I know I touched the cards like a thousand times. So now I'm just like throwing them down. Okay. Underneath. You deserve love. You are lovable. Something that you know here. Sorry about that. But yeah. You guys deserve love. And you know that. You know that you are lovable. And you are deserving of it. And you are expressing your love. You are making that romantic gesture. Okay. You or somebody else is coming towards you. Shooting that fucking arrow. Cupid. Boom. Bow. There's a relationship. Why? Because it never rains in Southern Gemini. Ooh, child, watch out. Okay? You have, like, something beautiful here. A nice, open, warm heart, and this person can see it's like a heart pure, full of gold type shit. Look at you. A heart full of gold. Independent as woman here. Working on your shit, sitting on your throne, sitting pretty. Okay? Not worried about a damn thing. Your wants and your needs, your desires, getting your shit together, your life together. Somebody is seeing you being independent, strong, fierce, and they, this is the person who's, they're lurking and seeing you like this and they're not liking this, okay? 
Ah, uh, let your friends help you. That's the mutual energy between the two of you. Ask for and accept support from others, okay? So, yeah, when it comes to dealing with you and this person, like I said, there's outside forces, you know, that is kind of interfering, of course. That's been, like, the energy for, like, everybody, right? But I see that here in a situation, both you and your love interest need to allow, like, your friends to help you, okay? You need to allow your family members. You need to get out and, you know, speak to other folks, you know, um... Just so you can see exactly clearly what's going on. Listen to your intuition a lot. Again, I got the crystal ball picking up heavy in this image. Some of you guys might, you know, need some clarity or clarification in regards to this love life or this love interest or whoever this outside person is. Yeah, needing some clarity about a situation because there is a little bit of stagnant energy here. That's four of cups. And I already can tell that, you know, about an offer that's coming in. You're not sure whether or not you should take something in if it's really going to make you happy. But I feel like it is because... Again, it never rains in Southern California. And we got the sun peeking out up here, okay? Leo energy. But again, that is air energy starting off here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all right? But you need to talk to your friends, talk to folks so that you can get some clarity here in regards to the situation, okay? In regards to the people who's playing around in the situation, you know, ask questions and get the answers that you need. You know, like I said, the wants and the needs, you know what you, what you need, okay? Those wants are negotiable. This is where you need to get truth and clarity out of the things that you're trying to negotiate in your life here, okay? Your energy here is flirting, all right? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Soft kisses, giving attention to this person. That's why they're so much in love because at the end of the day, it's like you're still giving energy to this person, but you're not taking away from your focus and they are appreciating and loving the fuck out of that of you. Yeah, you're not leaving what you're doing out in the cold you're still you're still flirting with them and giving some attention but it's still like stuck energy here and it's like they're left out in the cold they really want to come in and dig you and deal with you it's like you're giving the energy to them but you're not giving that much energy to them because again like i said i've seen a time when some of you guys could still be healing off of a situation or you know possibly a situation with this person but they miss you because when you think about the song if you've never listened to it go listen to it it never raises out the california by tony 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 um, but it's like, you know, he was like, it's been a year since I've seen you or whatever. It's been time and I can't wait to see you. Like, let's catch back up because I know that where you at, like, it never rains in Southern California. And I feel that, you know, you've been out of like, you've been, you know, lonely or whatever, possibly, you know, really not dealing with love because, you know, maybe you're dealing with some financial issues or whatever. You know, you're stuck trying to handle some financial situations or again, this person could be feeling stuck and be feeling left out in the cold or whatever. Somebody is feeling left out in the cold because you're extending your energy somewhere. Okay. And like I said, this could be this person who's watching like this is straight bullshit. This could be that negative chapter that you're closing the door on because it's like, look, I'm out here enjoying life or whatever. Or also it could be the fact that, you know, you out here giving your energy and you're extending it to somebody, but you're really not quite sure. You know, you could be kind of feeling out of lack with this person and wondering, you know, well, why aren't they really giving much more into me? You know, like. What's going on? Like, are you here to do this? Or are you not here to do this here? Stagnant energy is still stagnant, stuck. And there's still an amount of clarity here. Let's see your person. Oh, because they're releasing the ex. The time has come to clear energy. That's what I'm saying with that. You make me want to leave the one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. So, yeah, your person, your love interest right now or the person who's coming towards you. They are in the process of releasing some past energy. The time has come to clear your energy. They're releasing an ex right now, someone that they had ties to. So, like, if you're wondering, like, why you're flirting and you don't feel like they're, like, really giving that much of their attention or whatever to you right now, it's because they want to come 100% to you. Yeah, they want to come true and honest to you. They want to bring true clarity. They know that they've been investing in some bullshit here behind the scenes that they're trying to take care of, which is releasing this ex. They want to come in honest and true and clear to you. This Pisces energy with this moon, but this is Libra here with this queen of swords. Could be dealing with a Libra. They want to come in and be honest though and truthful to you. They want an honest commitment with you. So they know in order to do that, they need to release things of the past. So that way they can come to you in the the love the loving way that you deserve here okay the challenge between you guys is forgiving and learning Ooh, as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so yeah it's hard for this person right now like i said somebody is having a hard time letting go here and forgiving somebody it could be you gemini having a hard time forgiving someone of your past or forgiving things of your past but again, you know, you guys got open heart in this, which means that, you know, you're not letting the unhappy chapters make you jaded. Give me one second, guys.
Sorry about that. But yeah, I feel like you could be forgiving, you know, trying to heal from something of the past. You know, like I said, I kept feeling that tower moment. I know tower moments have happened or whatever and are still in the process of happening. But again, you know, the issue is, you know, forgiving and learning so that you can move forward here, you know. Again, negotiating. This is that negotiating factor here of things that you may want. You might want this person in your life. But again, it's forgiving and learning needs to heal the past or releasing the past, rather, in which this is what this person is doing. Because at the end of the day, they realize that Gemini, you are their sunshine. It never rains with you. Like, it never rains in Southern Gemini. Like, no matter what, at the end of the day, even if I'm not giving my all, I can't extend everything to you because I'm also picking up that maybe, Gemini, you're feeling out of lack. Like, this person isn't extending as much of their energy to you as, you know, you're extending to them. But, you know, you're not really trying to do checks and balances here. You know, you're just trying to understand that whatever. Some of you might be getting a little bored. Yeah, as that was coming out. Some of you also might be becoming a little bored with the situation because of how things are moving here. Yeah. Trying to manifest something moving forward, something better here. This love offer, this apology, this person does, I feel like, want to come in. Like I said, in oh, Ten of Cups, they want to come in. They're manifesting and wanting you, forgiving and learning. Like I said, as they're releasing their ex, they're, they're releasing their past so they can come to you because you make them want to leave the one they're with. Like they're manifesting you, okay? Virgo, Gemini, energy, Gemini, here you are, okay? They're manifesting you. They really want to come in and offer you this Ten of Cups here, okay? Happy life, happy wife, stable, solid type of commitment here, okay? Because for me, it's like, yeah, you have the love and you guys can build up the coins. But this person wants to come in and offer you this, offer you this new cup of love. They want you to forgive them. I feel maybe, you know, because then the reconciliation, you know, how that was coming back around. For some of you guys, if you are already in a connection with this person, you guys haven't been speaking or say something blew up, like this person wants to come back in and they want to offer you something like very long standing, something very warm and loving, something to satisfy not only your wants, but also your needs. And it's crazy because as they're trying to do this and they're trying to cut out this ex, this ex is getting really tight and upset about the fact that they're moving away and moving towards you. And this is where I'm feeling that jealousy. Somebody is spying and watching you because they know that you are getting your person. They feel like you're taking their person, but it's not. I feel like they were in like a karmic bond or whatever situation. And now the karmic is feeling like you're taking them, but it's like you're not. You're being yourself. You're letting bygones be bygones. Like you're giving out, like you're just exuding love. It's just something that you're... Your aura is naturally putting off so much positivity and love and shit that you're attracting this in and it's making this person, your person, see that, yo, I need to cut out all the bullshit, cut out all cycles, cut off all karmic bullshit or whatever. That's essentially what's happening. So your advice is to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So granted, this person that you're dealing with may not, you know, be coming towards you like in... Like how you're offering this flirt and you're feeling like there's a lack there in that situation. Just even though they're not doing that, still do what you're doing because they're working on their own issues in the background. Don't go cold on them. I'm hearing you don't go cold on them because they really care about you. But they just want to make sure that they're coming in right and they're going to do everything correct for you. OK, yeah. Five of wands here. Make the effort to get past this here. When this offer comes in there. Yeah. What I'm telling you, they're trying to offer you something stable. Here, some stable stability here. What is this? Justice, Libra, a stable offer. This is uh, engagement, commitment, going down to the courthouse, making this shit solid. S longevity, legacy, happy life, happy wife. Again, 10 pinnacles, 10 cups. They coming in with something small, but they're trying to make it right. Star card peeking up right here. Aquarius energy, Libra energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn here with all this earth energy. But they want to come in and make something right here. Don't fight against it. There is a lot of competition. There's gossiping and there's fighting and shit like that going around. But you need to make the effort to get around this. Get around all this negativity right here. Keep that open heartedness and know that this person is really trying to make efforts to come towards you. They're trying to make an offer to you here. Making this offer is going to bring more conflict. But you cannot allow this conflict to stop you from having something that is truly for you. Something that you desire. Something that you want. And, you know kind of need right now like I feel like it's kind of it's the wants and needs like you feel like you needed somebody who was gonna be honest and true or whatever or that's what you wanted and now it's coming in okay 
But understand that it, there will be probably some conflicts here when this offer is coming in being presented because, like I said, this person is cutting out somebody to come towards you here, okay? Two fives here. There's change happening, okay? You've changed your mindset and how you're pursuing people and relationships and things like that. And, you know, I feel like you're putting a lot more into yourself here because you deserve love, more self-love. You put that energy into yourself, not allow people to put you in low spaces. And now your love interest is trying to cut things out and come back and match your fly here. Forgiving and learning is the center thing here. I have the feeling because you're changing in your dynamic, you make the effort that, yes, you're going to take this in, Okay. The advice to your person is to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So I do feel like this person wasn't in their best vibration, messing with low vibing, karmic type energy, you know, having mad moments of weakness, you know, just dealing with what was easy, easy, easy men, easy woman, just easy shit. OK, shit that wasn't in the best vi vibration for them. OK, yeah. Heartbreak and sorrow here. Three of swords. They need to cut this energy off and put it into themselves because you, they want to be, it's like having mirroring images, mirroring each other. And it's like, you're exuding so much of this positivity and this self-love and you're progressing and you're focusing on what it is that you desire and you want in your life. It's time for them to do that so that you can match your fly because you're a movement by yourself, but y'all can be a force together. Okay. They have to cut off the folks that no longer are serving them. I got five swords looking at me. This is nothing but mental conflict. Again, changing this dynamic of all this loss here, this conflict, this fighting, this mental defeat, these lies, this deception, this person that's lying to them. They need to cut out all this low vibe energy that they have going on around them so that they can love on themselves and be able to offer you this cup of love that they want to bring in in this forgiving and learning process here. When they love on themselves and can realize, you know, what matters to them and that these exes and these past people aren't in their best vibration when they can be honest and true and cut that shit out then they'll be able to come forward and make this love offer to you that is substantial there's them five of swords that i just said okay but they'll be able to come in and actually make this offer to you so let's see the outcome for you guys is trust this situation is calling for you to have faith which honestly jim you're going to need it, okay? You're going to need to trust that this person is doing what is, is needs to be done, okay? I see on this side that they're doing what needs to be done. They're releasing what no longer needs to be there. They're working on loving themselves so that they can come and give you, you know, love too. You know, it's like you can't love somebody if you're not loving yourself right. And it's like this person is, they're, they're going to put in the work. But you just have to have faith and trust in the situation, okay? Have faith and trust in the situation. Because mm -mm. we're not about to um, go whole jack out here. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. But there's lots of passion. They do want to come in and offer you this here. They're just really up in their head on trying to decide how to escape and get out of the situation with the past. With anything that was deceptive. They're trying to really cut out any deceptive energy. But this person is very passionate about you, okay? So, so far, I've seen that they want to come in and offer you Ten of Pentacles. They want to come in and give you Ten Cups. And the passion is there. They want to be honest, okay? They want to be honest and tangible, give you something, an engagement, proposal, whatever, upgrade you, upgrade the situation. But like I'm saying, you are their sunshine. You make them happy. Trust in the process. Trust that this person will move towards you, that they're making the proper adjustments that they need to make to get there. OK, underneath spiritual and enlightenment, I feel like your person has had a wake up call. OK, went through some dark night of the soul, had to do some shadow work, had to take a look at, you know, People, places, and things around them that was interfering with their ability to get to you. Because I feel like it's been some time. And thinking back on the song when it's like, you know, it's been a year. I feel like this person could have been hiding stuff from you for like a year or more or whatever. Just hiding shit. And all that stuff probably came out. And they realized like, yo, like, what the fuck am I thinking? Like, it never rains with fucking Gemini. Like, it's always been good. What was I thinking to fuck that up? Yeah, new level of growth going on up in here. That's what I'm talking about, Gemini. New level of growth going on in this relationship. Yeah, because they were dealing with a karmic bond. A karmic bond that they have to get out of. Understand that a sudden change is happening here. 
that is causing a sense of renewed faith. That's why I'm saying you make them want to leave the one they're with and start a new relationship with you. Or even still, if you guys are already together, they're really ready to cut off these karmics with the self-sufficient falling on the release your ex. They're ready to cut these karmics out and come and be with you. It was an intellectual matter. They had to stop and think about it. Like this person is playing mind games. They fucking with me. Like they're no good. They're not doing anything for me. Also understanding that you, Gemini... <laughs> is a better match for them when it comes to the meeting of the minds they get more from you they learn more from you they can see more from you transformation okay you're helping this person grow go through that spiritual awakening here achievement and good fortune is right around the corner for you guys just trust in this situation because look at that joyful times all right you got something beautiful. It never rains in Southern Gemini. And that is exactly what I'm calling this. That hater in the background, they can kick rocks. They think it's bullshit. They, yeah, Gemini, you're getting the last laugh. That's what I can see here. Trust in the process. You get the last laugh. You get the love. You get the cups. You get it all, baby. It's all changing in your favor. I can't make this shit up. So that has been your message. You guys know what to do until you hear me on the next video. Peace out.